the funding, lack of support and male dominance are just some of the challenges that female entrepreneurs face across the continent. A panel discussion under the theme, Investing in Women for Accelerated Growth at the Africa Investment Forum, was used as a platform to tackle these problems. The president of the African Development Bank, Dr. Kimumi Adishino, says he's created an initiative that will help the banking sector support female business owners. We believe that we need to reach lending to women businesses. So we are working now to set up a, a, a guarantee facility that is 300 million US dollars. That guarantee facility of 300 million dollars will leverage 10 times that would be at least $3 billion that we can leverage for businesses of women, you know, in, in, in Africa. Omar Al-Habra, the secretary to the Minister of International Trade Diversification in Canada, outlined the objectives of the forum and what his country is doing to change the lot of women. We have a feminist international uh, aid policy that is focused on empowering women, on helping them uh, become more educated, uh, more entrepreneur, um, take leadership of their own business, because we know, like mentioned earlier, when women succeed, they spend their money on education for their children, on their households, and that money goes back into the economy, so that also is an excellent tool to combat poverty. The chairman of First Bank of Nigeria, who herself encountered challenges when establishing her business, says innovative solutions are needed to deal with problems women face. My faith is the more you empower these women, they will multiply that money and increase the scale of their business. And once they do that in the first strand, they become qualified to get a higher volume of money to inject in their business. So it's, it's a long-term project. It cannot be short-term. It has the component of knowledge. You must teach the women the parts they do not know. And then the banks must be engaged in giving low-cost money because that's where banks like AD come in because the kind of money that they release to commercial banks for that purpose can get to the consumer at a cheaper rate than money that is raised traditionally by commercial banks through the normal deposit and all of that because it's more expensive money. Further calls were made to not only invest in the advancement of women but of young people across the continent.